Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Bryce and Checkers at Zoo America at Hershey Park. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. What kind of tortoise is Checkers? So Checkers is actually a 17-year-old desert tortoise. These guys can be found in the United States, but you wouldn't find them anywhere close to Pennsylvania. They can actually be found out west in the Mojave and Sonoran deserts where it's very hot year-round and dry. Mm -hmm. So what kind of adaptations do they have to live in an environment like that? Checkers has a lot of really cool things about them. Of course, the first thing that you notice with a tortoise is its shell, and that's how he protects himself whenever he's out and about. But honestly, most of the time, Checkers is underground. In fact, he spends 95% of his life underneath the desert. In fact, that's why Checkers has these really cool claws in the front. They're not sharp. They're actually very blunt because they act like shovels. Checkers will actually dig burrows that are 15 feet deep and about 30 feet wide, and usually he has more than one. And he spends most of his time down there and really only comes above ground whenever he needs to eat. Hmm. What do they need to um, eat in the wild? So Checkers is a vegetarian. In fact, almost all tortoises are vegetarians. It's usually only the turtles that like to eat the meat. And in the desert, what that means is that he really only gets to eat cactuses. Even though Checkers will eat just about anything that's green, there's not a whole lot to go around when you live in a very arid place. And so most of what he eats is cactus and cactus flowers. What do you feed them here? So of course, we don't have any cactuses here at Zoo America because we don't live in the desert. Instead, we feed these guys a lot of carrots, sweet potatoes, um, some other greens like uh, lettuce and spinach. And they love it all because they love the juiciness that they get from it. And it's the same as what they get in the wild with the cactuses that tend to retain a lot of water. How long can these tortoises live? So that's a good question. These guys can live a very long time. And uh, what's funny is that they actually do make good pets if you know what you're doing. And so Checkers here is 17, but that is not old at all for a desert tortoise. In fact, if he lives a healthy life, he could live to be over 100. There are some desert tortoises that have even lived to be 120 years old, but the average is probably between 50 and 80 years. Mm -hmm. So they might have, um, outlive some of us. This might be a bad thing. Oh yeah, that's right. And so the funny thing is, if you have a desert tortoise as a pet, there's a good chance you're going to have to put them in your will and pass them on to your children because these guys do live a very long time. Mm -hmm. How did you come into possession of this animal? So this guy is actually born in the zoo about 17 years ago in our desert building. And so it's being remodeled right now, but usually we have a bunch of desert tortoises in there together. And I think his mom is actually, um, Little Mama I think is, is her name. And uh, so she hatched him, like I said, 17 years ago. And his dad is actually Arnold the desert tortoise, who is the oldest animal in Zoo America right now. Arnold is about 70 years old. That's an old tortoise. That's right, very old tortoise. But yep, Checkers has lived his whole life here. And um, he is, I guess, the exception. Most of the time with our animals here at the zoo, we tend to get them um, from special circumstances, um, whether it be breeders or an animal that's been injured in the wild that just can't survive on its own anymore. But this guy was born here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you, Bryce, for telling us about these desert tortoises. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you could come by. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.